Welcome to my instructional segment for beginners. During this short lesson, you'll be learning some simple ways that you can modify the sun salutations, which is a series of several postures that are linked together by the breath and integrated throughout the entire vinyasa practice. You can use any of these options to accommodate your current level of strength and flexibility so that you remain safe during your practice and relaxed and most importantly so that you can have more fun while you're on your mat. I am joined by my good friend Kai, an amazing yogi. She'll be helping me out by demonstrating these options for you. So Kai, why don't you come up to the front of the mat into mountain pose, Tadasana position. I'm going to have Kai move through one complete sun salutation first and then we'll be breaking it down with some modifications so that you can see how you can change each of the postures to fit your own body. So mountain poses are just our basic standing posture and you breathe out in your mountain pose. With your inhalation, the arms are gonna float up towards the sky, reaching out long through those fingers, gazing up to see the thumbs touch. As you breathe out, you dive over your thighs, coming into a forward fold, letting the spine and the neck relax. Breathing in, lifting your chest and looking forward. And breathing out, taking the feet to the back of the mat, coming into plank pose, and from here, lowering down into chaturanga. Breathing into upward facing dog, and breathing out into downward facing dog pose. From downward facing dog pose, you breathe out completely, and then you'll bring your feet back to the front of the mat, inhaling the breath. The spine lifts here as well, extending, and then breathing out, softening and folding forward and inhaling the arms come back out to the side as you rise up looking towards those palms touching at the top and exhaling coming back into your mountain pose tadasana position so this is the the most advanced variation that you're going to see of the sun salutation and during the vinyasa sequence that you'll be practicing there's going to be a lot of other variations worked in to the practice. So you're gonna to work towards this final variation. But in the meantime, especially if you're new to the practice, if you're working on increasing strength and flexibility, you're gonna to wanna to modify a lot of these positions. And I'm gonna show you how to do that. So from Tadasana pose, again, you breathe out. When you inhale and take your arms up and overhead, uh, traditionally the palms touch at the top and you look towards those thumbs. But for those of you that have tightness in the shoulders or the neck, this is gonna be really uncomfortable and maybe even impossible for you to do. So you're gonna separate your hands about shoulder width apart. And that frees up a lot around those neck and shoulders. Can make it a lot more comfortable for you. If looking up between the hands is too much, just simply look forward and let the back of the neck be long. From here, you're gonna be folding forward into Uttanasana, a forward fold. If the back of your legs are really tight, on the way down you're going to simply bend the knees and you can bend them as deep as you'd like to accommodate your level of flexibility. Um, this also pertains to tightness through the spine and the back. So keeping those knees bent as much as you need to, trying to get the hands to the floor if possible, you take a breath in and you lift your chest looking forward. Now this is one option to take this lift of the chest with the knees bent. If your hands still don't reach the floor comfortably, you're gonna take the hands up to the shin bones, and then you can press into the shin bones to get that opening at the front of the chest, that heart expansion. And with this variation, you may be able to actually straighten your legs again. Then from here, you're gonna to wanna to get the palms flat to the floor. So go ahead and get, bend those knees as deep as you need to. Once the palms get to the floor, instead of jumping back, which is what Kai did in the first series, you're gonna step your feet back. So you could take one giant step. If that's difficult, you could take several little baby steps. So go ahead, Kai, and just step back as far as you can. So if you don't get your foot all the way back, maybe you take a couple little steps, no big deal. You're gonna end up here in plank position. Plank position is a difficult pose to hold. You need a lot of core strength. So for those of you, again, building up strength, drop your knees. The most important thing as you hold this position is that you maintain the lift of your navel. So you want to squeeze in around that and keep your belly strong. Now you'll notice Kai in this position that her shoulders are right over her wrists. That's really important to protect the joints. When she's getting ready to lower down, and especially for those of you that are new to this position, you want to create a little shift forward. 
so that your elbows stay right over your wrist. Squeeze your forearms towards one another and then reach your nose down towards the mat. You want to get your head down before your rib cage, before your belly. And then again, for those of you that are a little bit newer or building strength, you're just going to relax right down onto your belly. From here, you can breathe in and lift your forehead, chin, and chest, coming into a little baby back bend called Cobra Pose. This is a great option for anybody who's dealing with low back injuries or stress through that area of the body. If you feel comfortable in your Cobra and you think that you can go deeper, you're going to move into full upward facing dog. Again, before you move into up dog, you're going to want to check the placement between your hands and your elbows. Oftentimes, um, when you lower down, your hands end up being closer to the, towards the shoulders. So just slide them back until you find this alignment. And then when you breathe in, you're going to lift your forehead, chin, and chest again. And then you'll begin to press into your hands and come all the way up into what's called upward facing dog pose. In this position, shoulders over the wrist as best you can. You can look straight forward for starters so that you can begin to really focus on opening the heart and the chest. And then try to lift your knees by pressing actively down through the tops of your feet. You'll breathe in here, and then for those of you that are new, just drop your knees, try to lift up from your hips, pulling back with your pelvis, tucking your toes, and coming back into your downward facing dog position. Down dog is probably one of the most popular yoga poses out there. You're gonna do a lot of down dog, so it's important to get the alignment down in this pose and become comfortable in it. And it, again, it can be a strenuous pose for people that are new to yoga. So, when we're holding down dog in the practice, if you begin to feel really fatigued and you need to take a little bit, a little bit of a break, you're going to drop your knees down to the mat and come into child's pose. Child's pose is a beautiful restorative position. So you want to find out how you can make this really comfortable for you so that you can breathe deeply and let your muscles kind of recuperate for a few moments before moving back into your down dog. If you discover that your head doesn't reach the floor easily, you're gonna fold your, your forearms and rest your forehead on your forearms. Now, some people struggle here through the hips and the knees or the ankles. They feel a little bit tight through those areas. And if that's the case for you, your hips may not rest all the way back and you'll just keep them slightly lifted, just to your comfort level. And you'll breathe and relax. Go ahead and release those hips back down. So again, from child's pose, take a couple breaths, recuperate a little bit, and then work back up into your down dog. So you can stretch your arms back forward, Kai, and come on up, tucking those toes, pressing back through your down dog. In down dog, a lot of people struggle here as well with tightness through the back of the legs or maybe even through their, their, their spine, their low back. And a real, really easy way to work with that is just by simply bending your knees. And you can bend them as, as deeply as you need to. And you breathe, right? This is a strengthening pose. Um, so from your downward facing dog pose, we move to the front of the mat with the inhalation. So you'll breathe out. And one option is to jump forward, which Kai already showed. And this time I'm gonna have Kai just simply walk forward. So you could take little baby steps or you could maybe work into a big giant step. Some way, get your feet to the front of the mat between your hands. And if possible, you'll still be breathing in as you lift your chest and gaze forward. And then you'll exhale and release. Coming back into that forward fold and remember you can bend your knees as deep as you need to here. Keeping the knees bent to rise up is a great way to support your low back. So when you're starting out, um, take a little bend of those knees if you haven't already um, put them into a bent position and lift your chest and begin to rise up, pressing into the feet, reaching those arms out to the side. Again, remember at the top you can keep your hands shoulder width apart, gaze up or just simply gaze forward and then you exhale, releasing the arms down and bringing the hands back to the front of the chest into prayer position. Great, so Kai, why don't you go ahead and sit back down. So if you are newer to the practice of yoga, newer to the practice of the sun salutations, practice along to this instructional segment a few more times and experiment with these modifications to see which ones work well for you. The sun salutations are such an integral part of vinyasa yoga. So the more comfortable you become practicing them, the more flow you're going to feel in your practice. And 
probably the more fun you'll have in your practice. So beautiful demonstration, Kai. Thank you so much. Thank you for watching. Have fun on your mat. Namaste.